Hello again, YouTubers. I'm SpongeBob11 back here again on the SpongeBob channel. And of course, if you can read from the title, today we'll be covering the SpongeBob SquarePants party here that's happening in Singapore. I'm recording this on um, July 28th. That's Sunday. Um, actually, to be honest, I'm recording this portion of the video. I mean, after I actually went to the party. So yeah, just putting it out there. So basically, um, I live in Singapore. All right. And uh, of course, they had a 20th anniversary celebration for SpongeBob SquarePants um, being held at the uh, Tampines Hub here in Singapore and uh, of course celebrating the 20th anniversary of Spongebob. Yes, so Nickelodeon Asia. Um, they organized this party uh, event and uh, I figured, you know, why not? Let's go take a look at what they have. So this event is sponsored by Singtel, uh, which is essentially a telco like AT&T or T-Mobile or Verizon, sort of like that. So um, this is the website. Of course, they have like this uh, cool Spongebob pop-up channel. I've actually watched it on TV. Um, it's great for watching SpongeBob episodes in general, and of course, scrolling down here, this is the main thing that's going on. Of course, SpongeBob party pants. You're invited to the best party ever in Bikini Bottom for SpongeBob's 20th anniversary. So unfortunately, I was really busy whole of yesterday and um, whole of today, so I only managed to go like one hour before it was closing. So I just wanted to take a look, you know, see if I could get this, um, which uh, you'll. Et of course, at the end of the video, you'll find out whether I got it. And uh, yeah, there's like dance off at Con Street with SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward and joining the first ever bubble dance party, compete in a jellyfishing race, get into the goofiest ice cream fight, or hop around Goo Lagoon. And of course, if you participate in the game stations, you stand to win a limited edition collectible Krusty Krab take up bag, which is, I believe, a cooler bag. Yes. So um, the dress coat, yellow party outfit, I wore a spongebob shirt so i guess that was good enough and of course there was a screening of spongebob movie sponge out of water at 7 30 p.m there's also this thing spongebob bubble pop um basically stand to win limited edition spongebob collectible uh when you take part in the bubble pop interactive game and of course there is a grand prize a trip to nickelodeon land in uh, gold coast uh australia i've actually done a video for that on the channel back in 2012 so go check that one out uh but yeah and also there's like this limited edition SpongeBob luggage strap, which I'm definitely not getting because, well, I'm not recontracting or signing up for any new plans. And um, yeah, basically they're advertising their uh, products, uh, Singtel's products. So without further ado, let's go over to um, um, the party and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Okay, so we're here at the event. I'm gonna be doing some voiceovers for certain parts of, of the video and other parts um, I'll just use the raw audio from uh, you know when i recorded the actual video because you know there's a lot of noise but over here you know the it's um there are a lot of games like mrs puff boating mrs puff's boating school uh, a game about flying about the flying dutchman and yeah we're just gonna go inside take a good look um of course there are a lot of kids here so it was a little bit of a little out of place for me to be there but it's okay it's a spongebob event so kids are always welcome and so am i so let's go in Okay, so here we are in the central atrium here, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the games that he have here. Unfortunately, it's really long. Um, not something I really like, but SpongeBob here's the logo, 20th anniversary, best day ever. And going over here, um, this place is sponsored by Singtel, it's the main um, like a sponsor of sorts here. Yeah, let's just go register and see what we can get. Yeah. Okay, so now over here we have some arcade machines and some other games that, again, as I said, are really for kids. And uh, so I went over to the registration counter. And they gave me this. And uh, over here you can see, you need 10 stems to get the Krabby Patty singles pack. Um, it's basically the cooler bag for Spongebob. And for 13 stems you get the passport holder as well. So, uh, you know, I won't even be able to claim anything at all. So I guess I'll just be taking this back home as my only souvenir. Okay, so over here we have the Sandy's Tree Dome. Um, 
so uh, not too much to expect from it. It's uh, just an inflatable house. Yeah, so basically it's a game. Anyway, moving on. So there we go in the arcade machines again. And uh yeah. Um the majority of people in kids die. So I think you just woke up and ride in the ride here. Okay. Punch-Out statue, which I'll bring you over to uh, in a moment. Very good. And the last line is the Go over to the, this uh, cool little SpongeBob statue over here. Okay, so that is the SpongeBob statue. Now, moving on. To the stage. There's a whole bunch of kids sitting in front of it. So here we have a display for the employee of the month. Um, it's going to be the 20th, so yeah, it's a good look back at the employee of the month episode. Okay, so it's just going to be my voice and the background music now uh, because it was getting really uh, noisy with all the people talking and the events going on. So yeah, here's your the look at the whole area. Of course, again, this was the central area. And um, there were a lot of people, definitely a lot of kids, and I think Nickelodeon Asia did a great job reaching out to, of course, your core audience for SpongeBob, which is kids, you know. So um, here in Singapore, it's mostly a kids thing. Like, uh, I'm probably one of the very few who actually like SpongeBob, uh, late, um, and I'm not even a teenager anymore. So there is this cool photo booth here where you could wear those, put on those SpongeBob, Patrick, or Squidward um, hats which I saw in the US. Um, over here we had these inflated Gary things, balloons that had wheels. Those were so cool. Actually, this is, if I could only get one thing out of this event, I wanted those. Um, Pixel Town is basically a app that functions like SpongeBob Museum. It's like a city building app, if I'm not wrong. Um, it's, uh, here's a QR code if you want to pre-register and it's a collaboration between Viacom and Go Game. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty interested to see how that turns out and definitely make a video for you guys when that app launches. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Again, here's the main stage. Uh, the photo taking was going on at this point with all those smaller SpongeBob statues at the bottom. And of course there were a lot of people uh, queuing up for games and stuff like that. So um, yeah, this, this event was um, interesting after all. And uh, I'm glad I could just take a quick look at it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick look at SpongeBob Party Pants. Hopefully, you guys, hopefully it gives you guys a, a look at, um, well, I guess the style of the event. And um, I, I wouldn't say every event by Nickelodeon Asia is the same, but this one was unique because of course they're celebrating SpongeBob's 20th anniversary. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it was a really humid and warm day warm summer day although it's always summer here in tropical singapore so um that was that but yeah uh and unfortunately i just decided to not collect any stems because i just wanted to keep my um map blank just for the collection since i wasn't going to be able to collect the gifts anyway but yeah here's the last look at the event uh those games and uh yeah this is where we end off our uh, um coverage at the event itself i hope you guys enjoyed this look at it um and of course now we're going to go back home and i'll just show you guys uh, i'll do a quick roundup of the event and then it's uh yeah that's the end of the video so without further ado let's uh round it up all right so we're back at the set not really a set i'm, I'm just home <laughs> and uh yeah, so the event is over, and um, I just wanted to show you guys, uh, give you guys a quick overview of my um, uh, thoughts about the event. So firstly, in case you missed it, this is the uh, um, event handout that you get at the event, of course. Um, basically, you can paste your 
Instax photos. There were photo taking sessions, but of course the queues were really long and I couldn't get any. And of course, if you look over here, you need to like collect 10 of these stamps um, to get a crabby, um, well, the, the crabby, crusty crab cooler bag and 13 stamps to collect a passport holder, a uh, SpongeBob passport holder. So, um, I didn't fill in any of this because, well, there wasn't any time and the queues were surprisingly long. And, uh, you know, I showed up at like 6 p.m. So I only had one hour to get everything. So that was not gonna be possible. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna leave it as it is um, because, yeah, I just want a blank sheet to keep, I guess. Um, I did eventually get the Krusty Krab cooler back. So here it is, it says Krusty Krab, um, the Krusty Krab home of the Krabby Patty. So it's basically just um, a cooler bag here. And uh, of course it opens up uh, this thing up here. And inside you just get to put your uh, stuff that you want to keep chill and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I actually got this by purchase, purchasing it off someone else who was selling it. Um, I was just checking a local site and uh, someone had it up for sale so I just decided, you know what, come all the way here. I'm just gonna get this anyway just so I can make myself happy since I didn't get it from the, the event itself. And of course, um, you know, queuing and all that, all the time taken. So I just decided, yeah, I'll just buy it. I'm um, over here though, it says, with compliments from Nickelodeon, not for sale. So the seller didn't adhere to that. I didn't technically adhere to that since I bought it from him. But yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get this uh, directly from the event, so I had to get it one way or the other. Anyways, I didn't get the passport holder though, so that was a bummer, I really wanted that. But anyways, yeah, that, that was basically the whole SpongeBob Party Pants, Party Pants event. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Um, it was interesting, definitely. Um, I didn't have too high expectations, although I did have expectations that weren't really met anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's what it is, so you can't really expect a San Diego Comic Con style event here uh, like that, so it's okay, you know, I, I, I think it's okay. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep it right here on Anonymous Spongebob 101, and I'll see you guys in the next Spongebob video. Bye! <laughs>